Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I am going to be first impressioning slash reviewing the Can't Stop Won't Stop NYX Foundation. This was a collaboration between Alyssa Ashley and NYX Cosmetics. So it has 45 shades. Uh, they say it's full coverage. They say that this can be used by all skin types, sensitive, oily, uh, dry. So it sounds like a winner. It's matte finish. It's 24 hour lasting. So we're gonna see what it does for me. Also, I've been loving the Stay Matte But Not Flat NYX Foundation. And because I couldn't find the Can't Stop Won't Stop in the store, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find it, I had to buy it online. So what I did was just take the color from the other foundation, this is Coco, and I purchased Coco online. So I'm hoping it's the same Coco because sometimes things happen. I think what I may do is use the foundation brush I've been loving lately. This is my F80. This is the flat kabuki brush from Sigma. And I'm just letting you guys know Sigma does have a few sales going on right now. Free shipping for the US and I think it's free shipping for $75 and over international. I do have a coupon code which is TMC10 if you would like to purchase anything from Sigma. But I've been loving this brush. I've been using it in every tutorial possibly for the last month or so. So I'm just letting you guys know I think I'm going to use this. On the back of the bottle, it does say shake well. So I'm shaking it up and it is a pump. So that is a plus. And I do have it here on my hand. Not too, too runny. And it looks like it's gonna be a decent match for me. All right, I'm gonna start with this side of my face. But before we do, I almost forgot. Guys, why you didn't tell me? I didn't put on any primer. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever. This is my mattifying primer. I'm just gonna use that like on my nose area and right there on my T-zone where I get extra, extra oily. So I wouldn't blame NYX for that. I blame the parents. And I'm discovering that I can use almost any other primer on the rest of my face, but that oily zone has to have that mattifying primer. So on the rest of my face, I'm using the CoverGirl this one is the pore minimizing primer. All right, now I'm ready to apply the foundation. I'm applying it right here on this side of the face first. Let's see. And to be honest guys, so far it feels kind of like the stay matte but not flat. It feels kind of moussey. I can smell a little scent on this foundation. Hopefully it goes away. Scents don't bother me, but you know, for people who don't like it, there is a slight smell to it. Not bad, but I think it's gonna go away. It does smooth out the skin pretty well. So that's working it on that side. I'm trying to get back here by my ear and everything by my neck. Don't want to have that circle around my face. And I am kind of stippling and rubbing it into, stippling, like pressing, and rubbing it in a little bit. So what do we think, guys? Not bad. Not bad at all. Like I said, it does remind me a lot of the Stay Matte Not Flat Liquid Foundation. It really does remind me of this. It, it felt more moussey going on, a little thicker. Not too, too thick. It's still breathable and all of that stuff. You, It feels light, but it's like a, hmm, what, what a, like a cool whip. And let's see the other side of the face. So it covered very well. You can see my discoloration. I have the same on both sides of my face. Under the chin, you can see where the color is and here. So it did brighten up my face, give me a nice even tone. I really, really like it. For color alone, I think I, you know, the colors match up well. So if you have the stain matte and not flat, you can get the same shade and you possibly are gonna have a nice match. 
and it seems like the longer it stays on my face it's kind of melting into my skin and becoming one with my chemistry guys the stay matte and not flat was between $5.25 and $7.50 the difference is uh, the stay matte and not flat had 29 shades and the can't stop won't stop has 45 shades so there's your difference this bottle is just a little bit more classy I just feel they seem so similar I, I really really do feel that they're very similar I would say if you like stay matte and not flat stick with it for the price the can't stop won't stop looks beautiful and I'm glad that they did extend the color uh, or the shades but the price 15 bucks hmm okay so you can see that I freshly put it on this side of the face you can see how it goes on a little brighter a little bit more vibrant and then it kind of dies down and looks very nice when it does and like I said I can't in my opinion this is my little humble opinion I don't see much of a difference between these two foundations this did me basically the same way and it lasted a pretty long time I'm believing with this you're paying for the glass you're paying for the extra shades I'm glad they did that so that uh, later ladies a little lighter and a little darker can um, have something to choose from as well let me see what where is cocoa in this lineup all right guys in the stay matte and not flat cocoa which is my shade was the second to last shade so there was only one more shade after that and usually that's what I notice in foundation lines I'm always second to the last or either the last so let's see where I fall in the can't stop won't stop it looks like there are seven shades after um, cocoa which is my shade so that's amazing that that's really amazing but um like I said my humble opinion if you already tried the stay matte and not flat and you like it stick with it it feels the exact same to me it looks the exact same the only difference in my opinion is the packaging but I, I really appreciate NYX for doing the job that they did um, and also this is saying that it's gonna last 24 hours so like I said I don't know about that I don't leave foundation on that long but in this Florida Sun if it will last me longer than five hours I will be happy with that so we're just going to see also with the stay matte um, but not flat I said in that review video that I didn't even feel like I needed to put on powder afterwards when it dried down it felt like it was dry I didn't need powder and I'm feeling the same way now it feels like I don't need to set this it really does it's like totally dry so like I said it feels like the same formula to me we shall see I'm going to see how other products look on top of it all right guys for the concealer I'm gonna be using the ColourPop concealer the no filter concealer this is in deep dark 52 and it seems to layer on top of most foundations pretty well I'm using a damp blender to see very light not pressing too hard I want to see how it blends not too bad guys it blended out pretty good I'm gonna put it down the nose on the forehead it blended out pretty good now see these areas around my nose forehead those are drier areas for me and I can see a little 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 bit of patchiness with this concealer there and this is also um, more or less a drier concealer too so you got to be careful I'm going to use the Derma Blend Illuminating Banana Powder. I'm going to use it very lightly because I already see that the foundation is drying down quite a bit and you don't want to overdo it. So instead of going in with a cream contour, I'm afraid to go in with a cream because I don't think it's going to blend out. I'm just going to use some of the Deep Dark 
powder from ColourPop. I'm using a big fluffy brush from Sigma. This is my F30 large powder brush. Just very, very lightly. I'm going to use my Becca Maui Nights. This is a bronzer. I'm using my Sigma uh, large angle contour. This is the F40. I'm going to tap into my Sasha. Uh, this is one of the blushes, but it's called Matte Brown, so you can use it as a contour. It's pretty dark. I'm going to use it way back here. And I feel like I need to spray a little Fix Plus. I feel like around my mouth it's going to start cracking. It's so tight. I'm going to add a little bit of blush. This is the Barely Plum Blush, and this is from Sasha. All right, guys, I can say that adding a little Fix Plus to my face made my face feel a little bit better. It's very, very mattifying, and putting uh, powder over it made it more mattifying. The places where I put the mattifying primer, right around my nose, right here on the upper parts of my cheeks here, very tight feeling as well. I do crease around my mouth area, my, my laugh lines, I do crease there. I'm not noticing any creasing yet, but it does feel tight. So... I think it's going to work out very, very well. For people with oily skin, it's going to suck everything in. Drier skin, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to moisturize. I should have moisturized better the way it feels. To me, it feels drier than the stain matte, not flat. It does. I don't remember this feeling like that. I really don't. Uh, I could go back and look at that video and see. I'll link it down below, but I don't remember it feeling like that. I don't reach for it a whole, whole lot, but it is a very nice foundation. I actually need to reach for it a little bit more. Um, but the look of the Can't Stop, Won't Stop is beautiful. If you love that mattified, nice, like just perfectly smoothed out look, you got it. This is a beautiful looking foundation, but we also want to feel good. So you spraying a little Fix Plus, something to kind of give you back your flavor. And I think you should be okay. So if you guys have tried out the Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage from NYX, let me know what you think. I think it is definitely full coverage. I can look under here and tell it's definitely full coverage. So they didn't lie about that. I will be trying it out like going out and about maybe whenever I go out or whatever date night with the hubby maybe we might I might try this one out and let you guys know how it fares out in this humidity and this heat here in Florida but so far I think for me and my oily skin I'm I'm going to like it I know how to deal with it I know I'm going to have to moisturize and put some fix plus over it to make it work for me so first impression pretty good okay i will talk to you guys in the next video cyber kisses bye